again we take this lump uh, under the angle of the mandible history of smoking the diagnosis is mostly metastasis tongue cancer uh, with the metastasis the smoker think about uh, tongue carcinoma metastasis to the uh, to the lymph node below the mandible submandibular lymph nodes X-ray of a smoker with cuff three three weeks, sputum blood stained. There was opacity in the left upper lung loop and lymph node enlarged lymph left supraclavicular region. What what is the, another uh, finding you will have on physical examination? This is mostly, as I told you, we had this is mostly lung in the uh, chest, which is pancreas tumor. Always think when there is when there is a blood stain, sputum, chronic cough, and upper. Uh, it's corrected, upper lung loop. Opacity, think about pancreas tumor. These are the keys for a lung tumor. Lung tumor in the apex, it is pancreas tumor. What else you will see in this patient? You will see the Horner syndrome. If you remember the other scenarios, the other scenario give you a picture of, in the scenario they will mention to you there is a Horner syndrome features plus uh, X-ray show left upper or right upper loop uh, lung uh, opacity. So what is the diagnosis? And in that scenario, you will go for pancreas tumor. As I told you, they they are strict to the same scenarios because the common is common. But sometimes they are manipulating them, making the upside down and the down upside as simple as that, like you see in this question. In this question, they just changed the scenario, but the topic are the same. We have, uh, they put the blood stained uh, sputum, so you, you have to think about cancer in the chest. Cuff chronic also a clue for a cancer. Okay, where is the opacity? The opacity in the upper uh, zone of the lung. Okay, I will uh, I will think that this is pancreas tumor. This is lung tumor. This is pancreas tumor. But how can I know pancreas tumor? I will look for Horner syndrome features. So here the question is what to look. Look for Horner syndrome. Simply like that. Okay. Please confirm your understanding for this question. 33-week uh, pregnant lady come with a history of vaginal bleeding. 33, look to the number, it's 33, it's not near term, it's a preterm. Come with vaginal bleeding, 1,000 blood loss, mill is loss, blood pressure is uh, uh, diastolic is low, heart rate is within normal, and abdominal exam, uterus was 38 week, no fetal heart sound, what is the next management? Of course you will do ultrasound, but as I told you before, whenever there is hypotension, this is very important. Whenever there, there is hypotension, this is a meaning that the patient has shock. You have to know what is the type of this shock. Just simply, whenever you have shock, try to exclude the cardiogenic shock because all other type of shock, the next option in the management will be the IV fluid, except the, in, the, in the case of cardiogenic shock. And I told you, in the cardiogenic shock, there is elevated JVP or there is a history of uh, MI. 
In that case, you will go to choose the next, not the IV fluid, you have to go for uh, do, dopamine or dopamine, IV dopamine or IV dopamine, both are correct. Okay, so simply we have hypotension. I don't need all the data. I will just go for IV fluid. Yes, we will do ultrasound, but the next will be the IV fluid. Huge loss of blood, immediate resuscitation, even if the vital is stable. Uh, this female may collapse at any moment. I will not send her really in the real life. I will not ask them to go for uh, doing ultrasound before I will put the IV line and secure the, uh, uh, be, be sure of secured IV line and giving IV fluid. And with the head, uh, not with bad business, saying want to suicide, Okay, all this happened not because of him, but because of the guy. Uh, again, we have this patient. He want to suicide. All this happened not because of him, but because of the government is not good. What is this behavior? It is rationalization or displacement. It is for me rationalization. The displacement should, yes, he should blame the, uh, really I am confused. Displacement, he will blame, here he is blaming the government, but give, a, a give a reason for the government to be like this, so, the government is not good, this is rationalization. But if he said because of, uh, because of the government and full stop, there's nothing about explanation, so it will be displacement. Really, I need the full picture to decide, but keep it in mind if he give a reason, if the, this patient give a reason for this defense mechanism, give a reason with explain, like this government is not good, you can go for rationalization, he is making a, a rational uh, cause for, for his bad business, but if he just blamed the government without saying it is not good or uh, a comment on the government, you can say he is displacing his problem uh, to another point. Okay? Husband.